I am late. Another scarf today, Matt. I like it. Buffalo Sabres, baby. And we can confirm that a U.S. citizen uh, named Ronald Thomas Smith II uh, was shot and killed in Benghazi. He was a teacher at the international school there. Uh, we offer our deepest condolences to the victim's family, friends, and loved ones. Uh, we are in contact with the family and are providing all appropriate consular assistance. Uh, out of the respect for the privacy of those affected, I don't have a lot of further details at this time. Uh, for questions on the investigation, of course, would refer everyone to the Libyan authorities. Uh, in Libya and elsewhere in the world to enact revenge uh, for the capture of Abu Anas al Libi by special operations forces. These horrifying accounts, you mentioned one, are just the latest in a string of reports uh, that illustrate the really deteriorating humanitarian and security situation uh, in the Central African Republic. Uh, we fear this could lead to an escalation in violence, further atrocities. That's why we think today's step at the Security Council is a move uh, to help try to prevent some of this going forward. Can you I open it up for questions? And again, I apologize for being a little late today. <sighs> Uh, as I noted in on the records, the resolution uh, speaks to the deployment of MISCA and French forces with a Chapter 7 mandate, which we believe provides the most immediate vehicle to protect civilians, prevent atrocities, and restore humanitarian access. The resolution also, and this speaks to your question, asks the UN Security, or excuse me, Secretary General, to begin contingency planning on a possible transition from MISCA to UN peacekeeping operation if conditions warrant and allow for it. We're not there yet. Do you have the position on that? Because that allows for the trial of six day like we have seen with the girls last, or I'm sorry, the teenage girls. We don't have a lot of details of this point about the attack uh, or casualties. Um, it bears the hallmarks of Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. It was a suicide bomber followed by um, uh, some gunmen. Uh, we're still seeking additional information on it. Um, the embassy is advising all of our employees to avoid the area in the vicinity of the Ministry of Defense in Sana'a. And uh, the Department of State obviously strongly recommends that U.S. citizens defer all non-essential travel to and around Yemen. Okay. Process on, the, on the direct talks themselves, um, I'd asked a couple of days ago how many, how, when was the last talks held? 